Why should I be worried about meningitis when I go to Hajj or Umrah? Meningitis is a very real and serious disease which can affect those returning from the Hajj. People have actually died from it in the past. And so what we do is we recommend um, the meningitis vaccination, ACWY, to have before you go. But I've already had a jab for meningitis in the past. That's right, a lot of people have actually had the meningitis vaccination in the past, but, but only the A and C components. Um, the quadrivalent Hajj vaccination has four parts to it, the A, the C, the W and the Y. Will it matter if I take the risk and decide not to have the jab? Um, anyone visiting the Hajj will need proof of vaccination from, from the meningitis ACWY strain. Um, you, you need to have that vaccination um, more than 10 days before you actually visit Saudi Arabia. Um, and, and the time window is basically, it lasts for three years or so. What about children? Children are also recommended to have the vaccination. Um, but children under two are recommended to have two doses three months apart. And what I would say though, the Hajj authorities have now made it a, an, a, a compulsory part of the visa application. So you will need a certificate about more than two weeks or so prior to travelling or prior to applying for the Hajj um, visa. Do I need to worry about any other vaccinations? Um, we would recommend that you contact your GP surgery, particularly the practice nurses who may have up-to-date information, but we usually recommend hepatitis B and, and typhoid injections. How soon do I need these jabs? Pretty much as soon as possible if you're planning to go on Hajj, but not more or not less than three weeks before you plan to travel. If I need to know anything else, who should I contact? There's a number of websites um, on the internet, um, but also obviously you can talk to your, D your GP and, and the practice nurse. Um, NHS Direct are another um, form of information on 0845 4647, uh, as well as the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Why are there more risks to my health as a pilgrim than going on holiday? Well, it's, it's, it's due to take place in November this year, um, and the average temperature can be anything between 10 and 35 degrees. So it can, can be quite warm and humid there. Um, there's a lot of walking involved, um, and also it be, can be quite difficult to, to maintain a good form of sanitation um, with respect to clean water. What advice would you give me to protect myself? Um, I would say if, you're, if you do suffer with problems such as diabetes and asthma, to make sure you have a, maybe a summary printout of your problems, as well as making sure you've got enough medication to take with you. Um, I would get plenty of rest, because there may be a lot of walking involved. Um, always drink plenty of water and, and, and have a list of your vaccinations that you have to carry with you at all times. So in summary then? Sure, um, I think preparation is the key for the Hajj um, and you could start preparations as soon as you've made the intention to go on Hajj. Um, the certificate for the Hajj visa is absolutely essential and for that you'll need to do or get the Hajj vaccination, the meningitis ACWI. Um, there's also simple advice, just keeping your belongings and, and um, surrounding areas as clean as possible. And most of all, obviously, enjoy the trip.